comes from a question which is how do we live wisely and well? How do we have a good life, if you like? And part of that we think is to find a kind of middle way. Buddhism talks about the middle way, but the kind of middle way between you know, going off to a monastery, you know, retreating from the world maybe, and the other of being kind of completely caught up, consumed by the world, being in the rat race. And we think there's, there's a middle way, it's possible. And our Earth Tech is about creating a community of people seeking that wiser, weller world and providing the kind of infrastructure and support and community to support, uh, to, to help us kind of create that and to be able to create it in our own lives. I think both of us have this kind of deep quest of what is wisdom, how do you apply it in a very concrete way, how do you live it and how can you transmit it. And from there on, it started a conversation and we created our first gathering. So it's a melting pot of ideas right now. If you just ran a workshop, you might run a workshop on social institutions, or you might run a workshop on how technology can be used to save the world, or you might run a workshop on environmental issues and disasters, or you might run a meditation retreat. So it's all of those combined into one. And as far as I know, nobody's ever done anything quite like it. My great-grandfather used to manage the farm, and then my granddad and my grandmother bought this farm. My granddad was actually born in one of these rooms. <laughs> and then my dad, he was a medical doctor, but came back to become a farmer here at Artist Tech. The idea is to see what else we can cultivate, not just, uh, we have to cultivate vegetables, flowers, plants. Uh, this relationship to the earth is very important, but also why not cultivate ideas and thoughts. This gathering is to figure out what's possible. For me, what's really been interesting is having artists around. To them, the immersion and now the, the feeling of now and the, the, the bodily experience is, is 100% real and uh, for most people they will feel like well if we're getting busy let's not do meditation let's do something important and you have to have the people around who say that you know, who understand know that that is important it's important to stay in a place where we can, we can all cooperate and all see each other's perspectives and be free to adjust, adjust our mindsets uh, and I think um, for me that's Art Earth Tech right now. So you could call it an interdisciplinary approach to creating a beautiful future but not isolated in, in uh, different um, ghettos or silos of thinking but bringing them together to see what will flower or blossom from all four disciplines.